Mm -hmm. Hello, I am Billy Big Putts Long, number 124968. Very excited for my rating to go up after some good rounds. <laughs> um, I play MPO mostly because I don't like to get plastic anymore. I just have so many discs. So get the idea of getting cash is nice. And I've I won a tournament this year. It's pretty good. 30 tournaments this year. I won one. And I'm pretty, feeling pretty good. So here's my bag. Um, it's It's been pretty much the same for a while. I have a couple new things in here that have shaken things up a little bit. Um, so my putters right now, I, I bought the Dallas Stars Prodigy Putter PA3. It's the 350G plastic um, because it's a Dallas Stars putter. Like, that's awesome. I want that. Um, and it's very different. I've been putting with roaches for like five years now. But and this is a big change because it's got a bead. Um, the rim is not completely rounded. It's pretty squared. Um, and I normally used to putt with my finger on the edge of the rim. Now I got to kind of change it to the bottom of the rim. Um, but I've been getting used to it, so I've kind of committed to getting them. I have a couple practice ones in the side of the bag. Um, so I've got two of those, and then I have one as kind of a practice one that I've been throwing a little bit. They throw them kind of nice. This is a Luke Humphrey stamped one I got in used bin. Um, it's, and it actually glows, which is kind of nice. Um, just for practicing, really, but it's in there for throwing. Uh, my throwing putters, I'm really, really big on throwing throwing putters. My main throwing putter is a roach. The one that's in here right now is the ESP Midnight Roach featured in the Roach Only Round. Um, it's just, it's so reliable. It, it goes so far. It's just the best throwing putter that has ever been made. I mean, it's, you could just say, oh, it's an AVR, but I've thrown premium plastic AVRs and they don't fly like these. This one's got some good torque resistance to it. It'll flip up, but it won't flip up completely over. Um, used, used really well this weekend. And I also have a jawbreaker roach in the bag for a little more settling down, sticking to the ground. I can turn over this one a little bit more. If I don't want it to skip, this jawbreaker plastic does a great job of that. Love the roach, it's the best disc ever made. Uh, my other throwing putter right now is a Toro. I have lots of different kinds of plastics of Toros, but this is a Metal Flake Champion Toro. Um, I have the Star Toro, I have a Color Glow Toro, I have a Champion Toro. They all fly great. Um, I love how flat it is. This one has a little bit of a puddle top on it. Um, it feels really good forehand, feels good backhand. I need a really reliable disc because we live in Texas. We have to have discs that you can throw in the wind. Uh, the Roach doesn't do that. Um, my mid-range game has changed a little bit recently. Um, as kind of for jokes, I have a Rolo in the bag. I have a prototype Rolo in the bag with a nice stamp on it. It's a 180, 180 grams, it's star plastic. It's the weirdest rim, it's the weirdest disc ever made, but it's super fun. I don't really throw it in tournaments. Um, I don't, I don't want to ever be in a situation where I have to, uh, but it's fun. Um, and then I have a Paradox. I go back and forth between lots of flipping mid-ranges, uplinks, Paradox, but I got this Paradox in Georgia. It's really cool. You can see it like straight through a watermelon. You gotta buy the watermelon Paradox. Um, featured in the Paradox roll around. I love throwing them. You gotta have a lot of touch. Cause I don't have a forehand. I don't have a great one. So that's what that's for. And then right now I've got two Texas Rangers in the bag. Uh, this was gifted by James to me for Christmas. And I was like, that's pretty cool. I thought it was gonna be really stable with this profile. But it goes unbelievably straight. I mean, it has a nice flip up when thrown hard. And I was throwing buzzes forever. And I was like, I mean, it does what a buzz does. So I'm going to throw it. And then I got another one. I got a Glow Texas Ranger. The plastic feels really nice. Slightly more stable, but not crazy stable. Really highly recommend the Ranger if you've never thrown a Lone Star disc. Um, love it. Good mid range. Uh, my fairway game is very interesting right now. Uh, but it's been pretty much the same for a long time. I guess that doesn't count as a fairway, but um, I just switched to a Draco. It's essentially a Firebird, Sexton Firebird. goes fairly straight, but it has a little more stability to it. Really flat. Um, it's a Quantum Draco. It's a Calvin Heimberg edition. 
It is the third run of this disc, but it served me really well recently um, with the forehand and overstable upshots. Um, my go-to fairway driver all the time. I have so many of these. Uh, T-Bird 3, this is an Anthony Barella Color Glow T-Bird 3. Obviously out of production because he doesn't play with Innova anymore. But the T-Bird 3 is so flat and so straight and goes so far. It's just the most, it's just the best fairway driver I've ever thrown. Love them. I have so many of them. Um, if you find my Halo T-Bird 3 at Fritz, please return it. Um, but I love the T-Bird 3. It's the best disc ever. And then I've been really loving this Sublime Free Tail from Mint. Uh, pretty understable 9-speed. I got it in my Trash Panda Disc Swap. Um, love the little Free Tail Bat Stamp from uh, Foundation. It's a nice profile to it. What are you Good guys plastic. Doing? I'm filming a video, Mom! <laughs> <laughs> That's my sponsor, my wife. Um, and it was unthrown when I got it, but it's just the most amazing flip up and glide and go. Like it got me so many birdies yesterday. I'm so happy with it. I'm gonna get a different one because it's so hard to find on the ground. It's, it's beautiful, but this is not the right plastic to be looking on the ground for. So I will be purchasing another one very soon. Love it. Free tail's the best. Okay. Uh, my drivers. I have lots of different drivers in the bag right now. Um, my go-to driver for the very longest time was Beast. And then recently at a used bin, I found the most expensive Beast I've ever had in my life. But I only got it for $15. I've seen it on eBay for $100. Um, Pro line Beast. No flight numbers. It has a patent number on it. Um, it's super flat. It's a little flippy. It feels so good. It goes so far, but I love a beast. If you have never messed with a beast, you should mess with one. They're so great. Um, pro beasts are great. They immediately flip up. Champion beasts are a little stable. Star beasts are right, but like the beast is a great disc. Um, love it so much. It goes really straight. I don't throw it in often distance driving shots that I need skip. It doesn't really get that. It's a pretty touchy one, but it goes so straight for so far. Um, and then put my main distance drivers are destroyers i've had this first run halo destroyer in the bag for a very long time i got it right when it came out it has gotten nice and flat it is not crazy as over stable but it's still reliable doesn't flip over flips up love this thing um i don't often throw it forehand but it will but when i know i need 300 feet of hyzer it does it every single time i know exactly what it does it's been a, a very staple in my bag for like four years now and then I have an Echo Star Destroyer in the bag. I've been flipping them in and out. Recently, this is 167, but it's still got great finish to it. Um, nice little bit of dome, not a ton. I, I don't like dome, it doesn't feel good in my hands. Um, but it will flip up when there's not a ton of wind. And it's my main, I need to go big and need a consistent finish. And then a couple that I've been cycling through that I don't throw often, um, I have the, the PDGA membership Insanity. The rim wants to glow so bad on this disc. It's beautiful. But it's so flat. It's about, I think it's a 10 speed. Um, it's pretty flippy. I could throw this instead of a Beast um, because it is almost the same thing. But I don't really throw it much. It's probably not going to stay in the bag. And then two discs that are kind of just here to play with. I have a Halo Boss. It's brand new. It's so stable. It's so stable. But everybody in Texas needs a get-out-of-jail disc. You need something that's going to just be ultra beef. It goes nowhere. Um, but in a headwind, gets you out of jail. With a forehand, it can correct my bad forehand. I can throw it bad. And then I had some credit, so I got a time-lapse. It's a destroyer. But it's not a crazy stable destroyer. You can throw it on Anheuser, and it will hold it a lot longer than a beefy destroyer. It holds angles well. I haven't thrown it a ton yet, but it's cool and it's blank. I love blank discs. That's the basic in the bag right now. Um, I don't intend on changing much at all. Like I said, if anything, I'm gonna buy another free tail. Um, I'm gonna keep trying. I'm gonna try to commit to the PA3 putting for the 2024 season. Um, and I'm keeping my sponsor from last year of uh, Cricket Final Maker because I can make any sponsor I want. It's pretty great. Uh, shout out to Cricket um, for making me all the things I want. Um, yeah. Peace.